Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Magnus Carlsen and Hikaru Nakamura are set to start in the Fischer Random World Championship in Iceland. And before it all begin, Magnus gave an interview, so let's read in. Carlsen speaks for the first time since the lawsuit, received support from World Championship rivals. While Magnus Carlsen has been preparing for the World Championship in Fischer Chess, he has received the billion dollar lawsuit from Hans Niemann in his lap. Ridiculous, say several of his competitors. Now do know that this article is from on NRK. It's a Norwegian news outlet. And I think the billion dollar, it got lost in translation. It's a billion kroner, but let's keep going. All right, Carlsen arrived in Iceland on Monday afternoon and is now making the final preparations before the World Championship starts with the preliminary rounds on Tuesday. Light in his step, he spoke for the, for the first time about the lawsuit to Anar K at the World Championship Arena in Reykjavik. I focus on the chess regardless, and this will not be used as an excuse no matter how things go, Carlsen tells Anar K. Last week, Fraud accused Hans Niemann brought the lawsuit which came as a troll in a box. He is suing, I guess is a Norwegian expression, he is suing Magnus Carlsen, Hikaru Nakamura, Danny Ranch, Play Magnus Group and the website Chess.com and is seeking more than a billion kroner. For those of you who don't know, uh, one dollar is basically ten kroner and that's where the translation comes from. Opponents do not think Niemann will win. Silly says Icelander Jörvar Grettarsson, lawyer and the home hope during the Fischer Chess World Cup. The money thing doesn't make sense. It is a bit biased against the USA that they like to throw large sums of money. He's probably asking for lost money, which makes sense. But it will never be 100 million for him, so it doesn't make sense, says Grettarsson to Honor K. Hikaru Nakamura is also being sued by his compatriot, and before NRK can ask about the lawsuit, the American breaks in. If you want answers about the questions about the lawsuit, there is no comment. I cannot comment on an ongoing case. Sorry, he says. Icelandic Gretarsson believes, however, that Nakamura and Carlsen are currently winning in the conflict. I don't think he will win the lawsuit either, but it'll be interesting. I hope they solve it soon, concludes the lawyer, who has a week off to play the World Championship in Fischer Chess. The same feeling as Carlsen. He is the lowest rated player among the octet in the World Cup playoffs and is actually mentioned in the Hans Niemann report. Chessacom claims Niemann cheated in a game against the Icelander. I had the same feeling as Carlsen. I thought he was not focused and open immediately. When it got complicated, he also played fast. At first I thought I, he was extremely talented. But I thought of cheating when I looked at it in retrospect. But I still thought he wasn't cheating because I didn't have proof. And as a lawyer, it is not fair to accuse him of cheating without evidence, he says. This week, the World Championship is being played in Iceland and the organizers has initiated extra measures to prevent cheating. There are security checks and a five minute delay TV signal from Iceland. I mean, five minutes is not a lot, but the games are 25 minutes each, so uh, relatively it is quite something. It is madness. At this level, we know everyone here. There is a lot of risk involved in cheating, because then your name and career is over. Neiman has just turned 19, and nobody knew him before. Carlson saw something wrong and withdrew. I applaud him for doing that, says Wesley So, reigning world champion. Reigning world champion in Fisher Random Chess, that is. He crushed Magnus Carlsen in the 2019 finals. A lot has happened recently. How has it been to prepare for this? It's been a lot of fun to prepare for this, and watching Fisher Chess is fun anyway. Magnus Carlsen answers to NRK. All right, so that's what Carlsen told NRK. Now a little bit more about the tournament. There are eight players that play in the Fisher Random World Championship. For those of you who don't know, what Fischer Random is, it's where the pieces on the first rank, so the rooks, the knights, the bishops, the kings and the queens, are placed in random, on random squares. And so it eliminates opening theory and we'll just see very interesting chess from the very beginning. But those eight players are paired up into two different groups. So let's have a look. We have group A with Gretarsson, So, Abdesatrov, Nopomniachi, and here group B with Bluebaum, Hikaru, Magnus Carlsen, and Fedosev. So definitely group B is the tougher group, although group A is also pretty tough with Wesley So, Abdusatra, the current world rapid champion, Jan Pomniacci, the back-to-back -back candidates winner. And tomorrow, actually, at 5.45 Icelandic time and at 7 p.m. Icelandic time, Hikaru and Magnus will face off. Now, I might cover those games on my Twitch channel, so feel free to come hang out. And yeah, it's going to be an interesting format. If we have a look here, 
there's actually Fisher Random Chess is sometimes also called 960 Chess. And here it says there are only 959 possible starting positions. So I assume they took out the normal starting position to avoid, again, those clashes of theory and people just starting from their own. This, the time control is a little bit unusual, which is 25 minutes in 30 moves plus 5 minutes for the rest of the game. Now, it's normal in classical chess that there are two time controls where it would be something like 90 minutes for the first 40 moves and then you get an additional half an hour, but I haven't ever seen this in rapid chess. So I'm very curious how this is going to play out. Also, they get five seconds of increment starting from move, uh, only from move 31. So the players will have to manage their time well. Now, the one an another funny thing is that the position will be chosen at random 15 minutes before the beginning of each round. The players will play one game with each color from the starting position. I think this is done because there are certain positions where white may have a big advantage. So this will make up for it because you will have to play one game with white and there you also will have to play with black. And they can only consult with their designated assistant in the short window of time before the games are played and cannot use any notes or devices. So no computers, I mean, because otherwise you just put the position in your, in your smartphone or whatever, you see what the computer says, but just with a designated assistant. I'm very disappointed that Hikaru did not ask me to go to Iceland with him, but it's all right. And that is about it from that. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Also, a big prize fund. The winner will get $150,000. But even being invited already guarantees you $10,000. If you make it out of the group stage, you're already guaranteed forty grand. So lots of good stuff. And also, I saw some tweets from Tarje J. Svensson everyone's favorite Norwegian reporter. And uh, he says the anti-cheating measures for the World Fisher Random Championship include possibly having medical personnel present. Bend over and cough, I guess. But I, I, don't, know what, I don't know why they have medical pre pre personnel, but we're going to find out. Um, and yeah, here there were also some wholesome pictures taken by my good friend Leonard Otis from the Netherlands. Perhaps this is where the players got interviewed and they gave those statements. Here we have Nepo, here we have Magnus, and Wesley So, who says he applauds Magnus. But overall, I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a great event. Again, we see the best players facing off in World Fisher Random Chess. Uh, no opening theory. And I'm just very curious who is gonna win. I probably give the edge to Magnus, but Hikaru also has a great chance. Wesley So crushed it last time. So let me know what you guys think and I just look forward to covering this event and hearing from all of you guys. So yeah, that's all I got and I'll see you guys in the next video.